actual transfer process. Um, definitely a little more involved. Completely doable. Um, it just takes, I think, a team to do it. Definitely. I couldn't do it on my own, and it takes, you know, I mean, we have a great medical staff here that is always good at answering questions and responding and explaining perfectly and easily how to manage everything. So um, for our transfer process, what we normally end up doing is we take birth control for a certain period of time before um, and just trying to help regulate. So the goal is to just get, you know, get your body ready for a transfer at a certain time so to kind of regulate the cycle. And then we transition over to some of the injections, just some of the sub-Q injections there. Um, at first, I remember being really, really scared of doing this on my own. Uh, I'm a nurse and I, it probably took me, um, I remember the first night that I was trying to give myself my own injection in my stomach and it took me about 30 minutes to do it. And I was just terrified. Um, I was so scared, but I knew that I had to be able to do it on my own in case Will was not there to give it to me. And now I prefer doing it on my own, it's easy. <laughs> so it's totally fine. It's this whole buildup and you think, oh my God, am I gonna give myself a shot? And it's the easiest thing in the world. So it works out. So you do the injections in the tummy for a little bit and then you transition to, you add in some um, oral medicine at that point. And that's an, an estrogen based medicine to help grow the lining right then to make that home nice and um, you know thick for a baby to take place there. The next step, which is always kind of the, like okay, this is real, yeah. we're moving forward step is, um, during this you start the progesterone shot. So those are kind of like the big shots. Those are the ones you give into the muscles. So normally kind of in that, you know, in the, in the bum there. Um, I always have Will help me with this, which is good. And our best tip for that, one of the nurses yes. gave us the tip for our very first transfer because <laughs> my thought was always just fast and quick and that's it and you just get out of there. But oh my gosh, it hurt and I was so bruised. Yeah. And so our first transfer, our nurse gave us the recommendation. You just put a big, you know, ice pack. We used frozen fruit frozen the first fruit. time, bag of frozen peas or something on the area for like five minutes before, numbing as best you can. Give the shot slowly, like slowly. two to three minutes, which you feel like is a lifetime, but you hardly feel it. And there's hardly any swelling, no bruising. And I mean, most of the time, there have been times when Will has given me the shot and I don't even know that it started because it's numb. So that's the best advice that I could ever give with that. Um, during this time, you're having back home, you're having a couple of exams done with your local, um, you know, reproductive endocrinologist back there. And so wanting to check on the lining and the ovaries and making sure everything's progressing while you're on the medicines appropriately. Um, and at the same time, you know, they're sending the lab results here to Dr. Keenan and the ultrasound results to make sure everything's looking good. And you're getting feedback from Linda the whole time to make sure your body's progressing as it needs to. Yeah, we always felt like we were in the loop. We knew exactly what was happening yeah. um, because of because Linda was so great at communicating that to us. So yeah. We, we... yeah.